Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. For those of you that have been hoping for baby chicks, I got one that I know of so far. When I was lifting Silver Fox up to check to see if she had eggs under her, which I will put a little clip in this video, right? Not here. <laughs> <laughs> I want to tell you about the little chick first. I was picking up her butt to um, gather the eggs that are laid in her nest and I got four eggs and when I did that I, she has one little chick so far and it's a little um, I think it's black with a little bit of white on it I, could, I couldn't really tell because she's not very nice and I didn't want to leave her up very long and I wanted to make sure I put her down careful so that she didn't squish her little baby chick that's, that's fearful that she might, but the eggs were still there, so I think the baby chick will be okay. But um, she does have one so far, so thank goodness she got one. This way she'll get off the nest. And I will put that little clip in right here. What are you doing laying your egg in her nest? And what are you doing, waiting for your turn? Oh, pacing back and forth. I'm sorry, Silver Fox. They just like your nest. I don't understand this. You're going to have to find... You know, there's two empty boxes here and there's two more inside. Learn to go inside. She's waiting and waiting. It's like I got to go to the bathroom and you're taking too long. Now you see why I have to lift... Silver Fox's butt. It's crazy. One is sitting there and the other one's pacing, waiting for her turn. It is just, and this is, it's like Grand Central Station there at that one nest. And they have five others that they could choose from. And they want that one. Today, because she had her baby chick in that one, I wish she would have had it in the um, little house part. Because I could block the door off and then the chicks could get out of the nest and walk around and the food and everything could be there real easy. I did put the dog house in front of the little area so that hopefully when the chick starts walking around and she gets herself into the little dog house along with, I will um, put her on the other side of the, the enclosed area and there's a fence there and then I will add the baby gates to keep the other hens out from there because the fence doesn't go all the way to the ground. It's, it's still got about um, maybe a six inch gap and the other hens go back and forth through that so this way they can't go underneath it and it will keep the mama and the baby safe and this way they can be on the ground and she can teach them how to dust bathe and bathe and she can eat little bits of grit and stones and things along with her food and teach the babies to do the same so that is um, I guess that's everything for today I have nothing else. Just chicken talk. Oh, I, I did, I did um, look at my mealworms. I will show you that, but not today again. I was watching them yesterday. Boy, it, I was reading in the paper that it's a fun project to have, but it's not very entertaining, which is true. They are fun to check on, but that's about all you get. There's really no excitement with the mealworms, but I'm looking forward to getting my beetles and then more babies of the mealworms and then let the colony grow and grow and grow. Well, that is it for tonight and I will talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye.